Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Laravel 11 Firebase push notifications. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically today we are going to learn about how to send the Firebase push notification. So this is the FCM token which I retrieve from the next years. So this is the token I'm going to use it in our project to send the push notifications. So let's have a look. So I'm going to open my API. Backend I have done with the Laravel, right? So now I'm going to send the notifications via Postman because our API has been already created. So here I'm going to do with the test notification sent, and uh, here we go with this one. You will receive the notification test notifications, right? And uh, also we can switch to that notifications. Notification sent successfully. This is Laravel API, and this is body. So test notification, this is the test title is test notification. You can make it like with whatever the text you want to add. Make it send. And this is test notifications. Okay, so this is how it retrieve and send the notifications to that next JS, right? So this is required. So how we have done this one with this with the help of we, we have to use this token, whether it's to be Android, whether it's to be Android, whether it's to be a web. Okay, pull this token and whatever the API that I have created in the Laravel, we have to use that one to send the push notifications anywhere on any of three platforms, right? So let's dive into the code level. So here we go with this one. Let me hide this. Okay, so first of all, we have to install the package that which is important. That is this one. Composer require create Laravel Firebase. For, uh, that is for the latest versions. I have checked with this one and they have, I think, might be. Yeah, so it's supported Laravel versions to be 9, 10, 11. Okay, so I have used this one, right? After the installation, what we have to do, which files we have to create in the HTTP controllers, notification controller, you have to create. Okay, so this is notification controller that we have to go with this one. So Firebase service, we have to create that one in the services. Okay, and uh, here you can see that we have to extend the controller, then we have the Firebase service right so here we have to send notifications with the token title body and the data so these are all parameters that we request and then we are going to firebase service send notification in the firebase service we have to have a function that is send notifications so services firebase services okay then we have a send notifications right and what we have done so here we are using the create firebase factory and messaging cloud messaging okay so here we have to get the storage path of this service account file. So make sure you how to create the service account file. In most of my videos, videos I have taught about this. So what we have to do, go to the Firebase and uh, you have to get the service account file from here. Let me go with this one. Yeah, here we go with this one. We have already logged in. So here we go with our project settings and uh, service accounts. So here in the last bottom, there is a generate new private key. Something is coming over here. Then you have to click on it. It will give you the JSON file. Just place it in your storage. Generate and whatever file it has been downloaded, then you have to put this into our storage folder. Okay, so I have make it in the storage where it is storage. And this is my file, right? So storage path. Okay, then with service account, we have to send the messaging factor dot create messaging. Then here message, cloud messaging, target, token, title, and the body with the data. Okay, then send this message. Okay. And in the notification controller, we have used this and we will return the response that notification sent. Okay. What else we have to create? Then we have to go with the routes. Then we have the API.php. For this, I you have to make this one or install the API module for this. In the Laravel, I, I have installed the API installer. And then this file automatically brings me over there and it autom automatically add the auth sanctum. Okay, so I have used that method and automatically it created. And uh, I have just added the post with send notification, notification controller and send push notifications. That's it. I have added and I'm able to send the Firebase push notification like this with the help of this package. Okay. So hope you understand and how to implement this in your project. Please do let me know if any other 
queries and issues because most of the people are saying that the pacemaker tutorial on the php laravel 11 for send of firebase push notifications so this is the tutorial that we have uploaded okay so do let me know any doubt any query in that please let me know and thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day